हे गा इज अ वेरी गुड डे टू यू ऑल सो टुडे टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द पोटेंशियोमीटर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गाइज कीप इन माइंड दैट पोटेंशियोमीटर इज नॉट अ डिवाइस पोटेंशियल मीटर इज नॉट लाइक अ एम मीटर और वोल्ट मीटर पोटेंशियल मीटर इज अ सर्किट विच इज यूज टू डिटरमाइन द पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप अक्रॉस अ पर्टिक्युलर अनदर सर्किट सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस पोटेंशियल मीटर सर्किट वी कैन फाइंड आउट द ई एम एफ ऑफ टू सेल्स और एप्लीकेशन ऑफ इट ओके सो दैट दोज एप्लीकेशन वी विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक्स वर्किंग ऑफ द पोटेंशियल मीटर एंड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर सो द करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल ऑफ द बैटरी सो दिस इज द करंट आई फ्लोइंग थ्रू दिस कंडक्टर दिस कंडक्टर इज बेंड ऑन अ वुडन प्लैंक ओके एंड देन इट इज कनेक्टेड टू अ रिओस्टैट इन ऑर्डर टू इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज द रेजिस्टेंस ओके सो दिस करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम यर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू कीप फ्यू टर्म्स इन माइंड एंड लेट डोंट लर्न दोज टर्म्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दोज टर्म्स दिस सिग्मा सिग्मा सिग्निफाइज नथिंग बट द रेजिस्टन्स पर यूनिट लेंथ एंड के इज नथिंग बट द पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट कॉन्स्टंट सो वॉट डज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर स्टेट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर स्टेट दैट द पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप पर यूनिट लेंथ इज कॉन्स्टंट सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज वॉट डू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर ट्राइज टू एक्सप्लेन अस सो लेट्स फर्स्ट सी सी द रेजिस्टेंस पर यूनिट लेंथ ओके सो वी ऑल नो दैट The total resistance of this whole circuit is nothing but R A B because this coil is from A and it ends on B. So the total resistance of this potentiometer is nothing but R A B. And now, if we divide this by the total length L A B, we get the resistance per unit length. So from here, therefore, resistance A B. is nothing but equals to rho into l a b now by ohm's law we all know that current is nothing but equals to voltage upon resistor so over here we are considering the voltage from a to b the voltage ab upon resistance ab okay what formula did we get for the resistance ab is nothing but equals to rho into l ab so just substituting this formula therefore it is not but equals to vab upon rho into l ab let's mark it as 1 now let's consider any point p at p between the point a and b it can be over here 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 anywhere so let's consider this point p to be here now in the same way resistance per unit length for point a to p will be nothing but equals to r a p upon the length from a to p therefore r a p is nothing but equals to rho into l a p okay now the v a p 
is nothing but equals to we all know that v is equals to i into r okay therefore the current in the series circuit will be constant so the current remains the same i into r a p and what is the formula for r a p is nothing but equals to i into rho into l a p now from here we get the value of i i is equals to v a b upon rho into l a b substituting this value from 1 in this equation therefore v a p is nothing but equals to v a b upon rho into l a b into rho into l a p so rho and rho gets cancelled off therefore v a p is now nothing but equals to v a b into l a p upon l a b now over here if you all notice that the potential across a b is constant we cannot this battery is not a variable battery this is a constant battery at some voltage okay so we cannot ch change the voltage of across v a b so the voltage drop across v a b remains constant and the length of a b is also constant the only thing which can we can change is nothing but the length of p so the length of suppose point this p is over here let's say p dash so now the length over here will be nothing but equals to l a p dash so these both terms are constant and this is the only variable term which we can change okay we cannot change the length of ab as well as we cannot change the potential drop across ab the only thing we can change is the change it change the point p with respect to a so in so we can say that therefore vap is directly proportional to lap okay now let's we all know that if we substitute this proportionality constant with the equals to this i have to add one const, constant k so it, it is nothing but equals to k into lap now therefore k is nothing but equals to vap upon lap and this is nothing but the potential gradient constant which we have proved so we have found found out the value of the rho we have found out the value of k and now we have to prove that this statement holds right okay so let's start suppose r e is the internal resistance of the battery which is supplying a voltage e emf e and r e is nothing but the external resistance which is caused due to this wire conducting wire so we have assumed that the internal resistance of the battery is r is small r into e and the external resistance turns as capital r into e therefore current is nothing but equals to voltage upon resistance we all know therefore it is the current supplied is e sorry voltage supplied is e upon total resistance is nothing but equals to the re resistance of the circuit plus r e plus r e okay so now the potential gradient value which we got from here is vap upon lap okay so potential gradient is nothing but equals to vap upon l of ap so guys what is potential gradient which i mentioned in the starting of the video is that potential gradient is nothing but the 
potential drop at per unit length so over here the potential drop across the vap is divided by the length of ap okay so similarly we can say that the potential drop across vab will be nothing but divided by the length ab so now this <coughs> vab can also be written as i into r ab upon l a b because v a b is nothing but equals to i into r v is nothing but equal to i into r so we substitute i into resistance of a b and l a b is, is written as it is <coughs> now this is nothing but the value of the resistance per unit length rho c substituting this value therefore the potential gradient is nothing but equals to i into sigma okay that's all we derived a formula for a